Welcome to the Czech Republic Open. This has been a very interesting matchup. Barbora Kachikova taking on Teresa Martinsova. Now, these two ladies have played four times, and early on in this head to head, Martinsova did very well against Barbora. However, uh, I feel as Barbora improved her game, especially playing so much doubles. Uh, I definitely see her taking control of this head-to-head. -head. She takes the first set 6-4, in which was a very competitive first set. Martinsova, I'm a huge fan of her. I've had the opportunity to meet her. I think she's a sweet, very sweet woman. Uh, but she's ranked 122nd on the world tour. I would love to see her get inside the top 100. I think without a doubt, she's a top 100 player. Uh, slightly older than Barbora. I do love the back end of Martinsova. However, uh, I think she overplays it. Uh, and I say this all the time, when you want to hit clean shots in tennis, you need balance, stability. You have to find that equilibrium with the racket and you cannot hit clean shots when you're on the move. I feel with her back end and I understand, you know, grass can be a slippery surface. There's been a lot of rain on the forecast right now. It's very hot and humid and sticky. But I feel when she's striking that forehand, I think she overplays it. I think if she can just come to a complete stop, get stationary, then I think it'll be much more effective because she's very strong and powerful. And these freak athletes, a lot of times you can go through the lower level, you can win championships and find your way on the main tour. But in order to really be a solid top 50 player, you have to correct these types of mistakes. And I feel Martensova, she, she overplays the back end. And what I mean by that is she literally, she uses it too much when she doesn't have the proper balance. And I would love to see her work on the forehand a little bit more. So therefore she can use that backhand as the weapon that it really should be when she has a really stable chance to stop, plant her feet and just use that racket, right? Use the power from the racket to really destroy opponents with the backhand. Whereas Barbora Kachikova, she normally starts things off with a wide serve and volley. So the opponents are off balance right away while she's going in playing chess for the one-two punch. Much much like a, a Iga Sviantek, Barbora has a very similar style where it's, it's short, precise rallies where she's going for winners. She's getting opponents off balance. And uh, I do see Barbora winning this matchup here. Barbora Kachikova, Teresa Martinsova, the Czech Republic Open. We're headed to the second set. Barbora takes the first set. How does she do it? Well, she's really, really just coming through in the clutch situations, the pressure point situations. Uh, the reality is it's really coming down to first serve win percentage, right? Barbora Kachikova is winning 70% of her first serves, while Martinsova is winning barely 60% of hers. Barbora is attacking the second serve of Martinsova, winning nearly 60% of those. Now, Martinsova, she's in every set that she plays because she's such a freak athlete. She's so big and strong and powerful. But I think as the sets progress, opponents really see what she's doing with that backhand. They get her out of place, and then she starts to get a little sloppy. Tennis in a minute. Stay tuned for more tennis coverage. Guys, Venus Williams, Asta Panko, Big Mama Asta. That's the only match I want to see today. Stay tuned.